Welcome back to SB Nation. Hello, soccer fans. The U.S. and Mexico face off Wednesday in Casa Azteca. It's international friendly, but they're in the unfriendly confines of Azteca Stadium where 100,000 Mexicans will be throwing their cups of vomit and bags of urine at the American players. Always good times. For a preview of the game, let's go to Ryan Rosenblatt of SB Nation Soccer. Ryan Rosenblatt for SB Nation Soccer here, talking about Wednesday's international friendly between the United States and Mexico. The match will be played at Estadio Azteca in Mexico City, which means you're not just going to have the 110,000 screaming fans of Azteca, you're also going to have the heat, the smog, and the altitude of Mexico City. You combine all those, and you have a stadium where Mexico is nearly unbeatable. In fact, against the U.S., they are unbeatable to this point. The Americans have never won at Azteca, or anywhere on Mexican soil for that matter. The U.S. is 0-23-1 against Mexico on Mexican soil, and after Wednesday, it'll probably 0-24-1. Because the European club season starts this weekend, Jurgen Klinsmann decided to leave many of his European-based players with their clubs. That means Clint Dempsey will not play in this match, neither will Michael Bradley, Josie Altor, Steve Chirundolo, among others. Without them, the U.S. is turning to a largely MLS and Mexican League-based team. That's a problem, because that's an inexperienced team, and that's especially true in defense. Matt Bessler, Jeff Cameron, Michael Orozco Fiscal, Steven Betashort, these are the guys that are going to be asked to try and defend against Chicharito, Pablo Barrera, and Andres Guardado. It doesn't look good for the Americans. And these, this defense is really being thrown in the fire because they don't have experience. And the question is, why? Why now, Jurgen Klinsmann? You had the last year to figure out what was going to happen with this defense. When you took over last August, everybody knew the U.S. defense had to get better. That was especially true in central defense. They had to get younger. They had to get quicker. They had to get better all around. And the Jurgen Klinsmann has not addressed this problem. He had a year. Until June, they played only friendlies, not a single competitive match. They had their opportunities to figure out who was going to play in that central defense, and he didn't do it. Now he's looking forward and saying, wow, after Mexico, I have one friendly, and everything else is a World Cup qualifier between now and the end of 2013. And he's going to have to throw these young, inexperienced players into matches that matter because he wasted the last year. And right now, that's the biggest knock on Klinsmann's tenure as U.S. manager. Besides the back, U.S. is actually kind of intriguing up front. Terrence Boyd is playing for Rapid Vienna now. He's off to a great start for them. And if he can carry that form over to the U.S. team, he can not just make a case for a spot in the team, he could probably push Josie Altor for the starting spot. Hercules Gomez also playing well and gives them another option up front. Alan Gordon, really not an option up front, was somehow called in, probably because he wants to give hope to someone like me that I could also make the national team. Flipping over to Mexico. They are the best team in CONCACAF, and if you think otherwise, you should probably find a new sport. It's not up for debate. They are the best, and they are looking for more than that. They want to make a deep run at the World Cup in 2014, and to be quite obvious, they can do it. They just have to figure out one thing. Who's going to play in the double pivot of that 4-2-3-1 that they like to play? Jesus Saval looks like he'll probably get one of those spots, but who's going to partner him? For this match against the U.S., it'll probably be Manuel Vinegra. If he can play well, as he has done for Tigres, he can maybe make his claim on that spot. But if he doesn't play well, he's opening the door for somebody else. Somebody like Hector Herrera. Herrera has been great for Pachuca, then went to the Toulouse tournament earlier this summer with the Mexico under-23s, and he won MVP honors there. Then he goes to the Olympics, helps him get a gold medal while playing sensationally. He's ready to make his case for a senior team spot, and if Vinegra does not play well against the U.S., Herrera might be the next guy in. And if he is that next guy in, and Mexico figures out who's going to play in that double pivot, look out. They can make a run deep in the World Cup. They are that good. The rest of CONCACAF might as well give up at that point. This should be a drubbing for Mexico, let's be honest. This U.S. defense is inexperienced and is going up against too much talent. But these are the two best teams in CONCACAF playing in an incredible environment. For that alone, it's worth tuning into, so make sure you do. Also, follow along with all of us at SB Nation Soccer, and hey, subscribe to the YouTube page. You can get it right here. From Ryan Rosenblatt, over here at SB Nation, enjoy the match. See ya.